You're watching Today in St. Louis. Thank you for joining us this Saturday morning. We begin with breaking news from the deadly storms Friday night. This is a live look at the Amazon facility in Edwardsville, Illinois, where a radar confirmed tornado killed at least two people with the search continuing this morning for any more survivors. You can see that they have some heavy equipment out there doing some movement. We've been talking a lot about the reports of damage and fatalities, both in Illinois and on the Missouri side of the river. I'm Sarah Maki. We have team coverage this morning, but first Tracy Hinson back after hours on air yesterday. Tracy problems yesterday continuing today. Couldn't really see it in that video, but they said that they expect some high winds as they continue to search. Yes, exactly. And with conditions like that, you know, part of the, the roof obviously still dangling. They had power lines that were down that were an issue. And today we're going to have wind gusts up to about 30, even 40, 45 miles per hour in some areas. I have a loop of this system that came through last night. Two waves actually hit that Edwardsville area where that Amazon warehouse is. Uh, the Defiance area, which was also hit with a deadly tornado, killing one person, injuring two others. Uh, that one came really just more in one wave, and then that second wave sparked up uh, kind of near that area as well, but was more severe as it came through Edwardsville. All right, so a closer view into that. You can see that line of storms. Then there's that little second wave that came through as well, intensifying a bit as it crossed over into Illinois. Over St. Louis right now, we have a very impressive wind chill. It feels cold out there. I was just talking to our crew that is in Edwardsville, and uh, David, our photographer, was saying it feels so cold. And that's because it's 38 degrees, which is not all that bad. But when you factor in sustained winds, that's not a wind gust reading. That's a sustained wind at 26 miles per hour. It feels like 26 outside. Through the rest of our day today, it'll be windy here for a little bit until later on in the afternoon. Temperatures are going to make it up into the mid 40s. All right, thank you, Tracy. The by state is picking up the pieces this morning after those severe storms rolled through last night. At least three people were killed when tornadoes touched down on both sides of the river.